Hi guys, in this video we will discuss how to check if an array contains any duplicate element or not. Like this is our array and we want to check if it contains any duplicate value. For this we are going to use the unordered set. Basically we will create a set from the array elements as the set contains only unique elements. So all the duplicate values will be discarded while initializing the set from the array. Then we will check the size of the set and the size of the array. If the size of the set and the size of array is not equal, then it means array has some duplicate values. So we have created a separate function here, which accepts then array and the size of the array as arguments. So here we calculated the size of the array and then we call this function and pass the array and the size as arguments. It will return true if the array has any duplicate value. So this is how we can use an unordered set to check if array contains duplicates elements or not. There is an another way. Here we have created an another function which accepts an array and the size of the array as arguments and returns true if this array contains any duplicate value or not. So first we will sort the array once the array is sorted, we will call the adjacent function. In the adjacent function, we will pass two arguments. The pointer pointing to the start of array and pointer pointing to the end of array. Now it will return the iterator of the first element which is not equal to its next element. So basically it will check all the adjacent elements like it will compare the ith element with i plus 1 and check if these are equal or not. As soon as it encounter any element which is not equal to its adjacent element, then it will return its iterator. So we can check if the pointer or iterator returned by adjacent find function is not equal to the end of array. Then it means array has a duplicate value. So we have created this function to check if array contains any duplicate value or not. Here we calculated the size of the array and then we call this function by passing the array and its size as argument. If it returns true then it means array has a duplicate value. 